Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Camping Buddies. Unfortunately, Alyssa could not make it this time. She's got some stuff she's got to deal with and that's all right. But for now, you got the boys. Just nothing but straight dick in this fucking chat. Um, Mine's curved. <laughs> <laughs> this is curved. Um, for... I don't know why I was gonna like say for those who are wondering it's episode fucking what twenty two, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, pretty wild. Twenty two episodes. Um, if you are listening on Spotify, on uh, Apple Podcasts, or on YouTube, make sure that you share with your friends. Uh, trying to get out there, trying to blow this shit up. It'll be pretty fun. Make um, us famous. Yes, please. We want to get. This is supposed to this. be my big fucking break. Do not blow it for me. <laughs> yeah, this is it right here. This is all. This is what we got. Um. Anyway, uh, Kelly had an amazing topic he wants to bring up. I think Kelly should go first on it too, because I'm curious. Video games, the games that we play on our TV. And we like to dive head first into their worlds, into their characters. Literally. And these characters, we, we feel something for them, you know. We got a, a little cute crush going on. So that's what the first topic is about for today. Um, video game crushes. I, I don't know. Well, okay. I, got, I got one. Um, I do got one. I had one. I had like a whole fucking list like before. <laughs> I, I feel like with your the way you were like toning your voice, I should have been snapping my fingers like it was fucking jazz night or something. <laughs> it's poem night. <laughs> <laughs> um shit, I like that one guy from Resident Evil. 7. Oh, you actually like that guy? You usually guy. obsess over the women's. I do. But if it's an actual romantic crush, I gotta go for the guys. Ooh, um, his name was Jack from Resident Evil 7. He was the son. And when I was looking at videos and I was playing, I was like, All right, this guy's kind of cute. Like, is, like I was kind of like, oh, hi. I saw him. Hello. Not Jack. It wasn't Jack. It was the... What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Um... Was it what's that? What's the kid's name? What's the son's name? Uh, uh I never I, played Resident yeah, Evil. Yeah, th that'd definitely be a Jesse conversation. I'm not entirely sure. I actually am trying to decide or trying to remember if Seven was Village or if Seven was just Seven. Lucas, that was his name. I can't even fucking get his name right, so I guess he wasn't that important. <laughs> wow. I bet you liked the uh, the guy from uh, Uncharted. Nathan Drake? Yeah. Like, he never took off his shirt, and that pissed me <laughs> off. Because <laughs> you know he's getting some big-ass man tits, but you know what? They never buddies. showed off. I feel like he's more <laughs> top-heavy than cum gutters. I feel like he eats out a lot, but he's like makes up for and like fucking climbing like a monkey. Um... <laughs> I mean, yeah, what? I, I kind of see that, though, actually. I kind of, I feel like he's the kind of guy who's gonna, like, fucking get five guys after he saves the world from an archaeological find. True. I mean, and, like, imagine the fucking finger work. Climbing, shooting guns, climbing rope, punching. Oh, God. Your hands are fucking over. <laughs> They're callous, <laughs> that's for damn sure. I'm glad you brought Nathan Drake, because I was kind of stumbling here. He can snap my neck and hide the body. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, god. damn. <laughs> that's an awesome way of putting it. smash that. Nathan Drake, and he can snap me in half. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, about, about Kratos. <laughs> oh, Kratos! He can behead me and. Is he actually attractive? I was about to say, is he like actually attractive to you? Because I I can't see that. Not really. He's just too scary. He's not very tangible. You know what I mean? 
I feel like he's such a gentle, like, if you actually just sat and talked to Kratos about, like, literally anything else, he's probably a nice guy. He's like, hey, man, you want to borrow my Switch for a few days? It'll, it'll probably help you, st- like, de-stress. He's like, thank you. I, will, I, I will. doubt that. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck are you? Leave me alone. Fuck He's you, like, ew, gay. Peasant. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that fucking, what was it? Was it, uh, Flash Kids? When they did uh, God of War, and it's just like, you shoot her right in the gay. <laughs> so fucking Oh, funny. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's her game now. It was a, it was a test. You're a homophobe. <laughs> yeah. Hector has no idea what we're talking about, but it was, it was like really Not really. <laughs> Trevor from GTA? I kind of had a crush on him. What the f- I did. What? You fucking psycho. I was like during my like high school years where I was like, I'm fucking, I'll fuck anything. And then I was oh like, God. Trevor from GTA. Because <sighs> sometimes like when you play as him, like you jump from a character to character and you jump to him, he'd be jerking off and he'd be like <laughs> naked. I'm like, Oh my god. He fucked the teddy bear, man. He fucked the teddy bear. And he probably... And he ate people. He... Fucked that one lady. Uh... There was that one time I switched to him, and he was in the mountains, drunk, wearing a dress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he ball- He's balling out. That's so hot, Kelly. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally... <laughs> How come there's no men in my area like that? I'm surprised you haven't named anyone <laughs> from uh, Elden Ring. You don't have any like male crushes in Elden Ring? You know what? I do. I have a couple. I have uh, Diamantis. He's the guy with the quest line with the tomboy girl that he was with. Uh, <laughs> wait, what happened? Nefeli? Not Nefeli. It's his name starts with a D. Uh, he's the curly haired guy who goes to the, the yeah, manor. he has a black hair, right? And he has mm-hmm. like silver armor. I never saw him at the manor, but I know who you're talking about because about, he was at the war shack, uh, over in Limbo oh, when you first guy. meet him. Yeah, that's not Bernal, is it? Dialio, no. Dialio, Dialio, Dialio sounds a little bit more it's cute. Yeah, yeah. I, I like his curly hair. It reminds me of uh, like if Bruno was like Kylo. Ren. Bruno and Kylo Ren had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a uh, like a, what you call it, a Final Fantasy character. Kind of does actually. When yeah. You, when you mentioned that. And Roger, Roger's cool too. I like his voice. Apparently the game hates Roger, because I got, like, no action from him. All I know is that I, apparently I did something, and all of a sudden he started dying in a chair, and I got all his shit. Oh, so... yeah. that's I think that's inevitable. Yeah, I think his I think his quest, if, if it is his quest, is very, very, very short. I could be wrong, though. I don't know if I just, like, mm. did something wrong for his quest or whatever, or if it was, like, someone else's quest that made his, like obsolete or something i don't know do you know what i think about like way too often what's up like good hookup areas in these video games i'm just like this is a nice <laughs> hidden area fuck? i bet you oh can my God. fuck with someone here that's uh, like all of elden ring yeah pretty much you get up to like a tower or even inside the fucking circle round table hold there's probably like, a good like hookup area yeah after you kill the bloody finger you're just piping in that hallway <laughs> <laughs> honestly in the court in the foyer or like where the dung eater is just kick him out i am not <laughs> fucking in that shit pile <laughs> yeah well, that the flies are swarming i'm gonna do oh, it sure. in front of the fingers <laughs> or fuck the yeah. fingers right <laughs> both of them hey why baby do, meet me behind the fingers why do the fucking fingers have mullets Mullets? Have you, guys, have you noticed? Yeah, how, like, I bad, noticed like, that. The knuckles, they just have like this. They're all hairy. Hair. Yeah, it's like. Uh-huh. It's so weird. 
What about you guys? What's your uh, uh the digital crushes? Well, I got a list. Yeah, you got you ahead, Honk. I got a list. All right. Well. Um, we obviously we got Valk from Apex. Solid. Oh, oh my fucking god! He, you tease me about the solid time. How I like would pretend like sniff her ass or. <laughs> He would, he would get put it. his nose sniffing that, the, sniffing that swamp to the ass. screen after like I'll be playing Valk and he would like shove his face against the screen and just inhale. Yeah, you have no proof of me. that. Okay. <laughs> I have audio recordings. Audio, but that's that's it's not enough. Okay. But yes, Valk can get it any fucking day. I'm a slut for Asians. And mm. fuck, she fits the bill. Damn, and I then Rebecca Chang from Dead Rising. Rebecca Chang. She's my favorite Asian woman in a video game. I've never seen her, but I'm down. She she's in Dead Rising Two. She's a reporter. She dies in Resident Evil or Dead Rising Two. But there's a game called Dead Rising Two off the record where you play as Frank West, and she survives that shit. And that's the only one that I would fucking play. Hmm. Damn. I'm sorry, I had to interrupt. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Loba from Apex, you know, the obvious choice because that choice. ass don't quit. Correct, correct. Oh, oh, God yeah. damn. Oh, um, your head. Yeah, I just thought of this one Mara from Modern Warfare. Oh, yeah. I think everyone really liked her. Oh, yeah, she was stupendous when she came out. Yeah. She she's a real person. Player. Yeah, she's an actual chick. So, That's I mean, pretty cool, in my opinion. IRL and a video game for you right there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Fuck. I thought I had another couple. Oh, obviously, Rami and Melina. Correct. You know, correct. Everyone's simple, simping over them. Hmm. If you were to hook up with Ronnie, what would you want her extra arms doing? Oh, bro. I mean... Uh, playing with your nipples, maybe? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. What does that even <laughs> mean? <laughs> it's just fucking two-handing your sword and at the same time just fucking pinching your nips. Like, what the fuck? She can squeeze your ass, squeeze your balls. Two on the nips, my, one in the ass. <laughs> my joke was gonna be, like, just, like, full gripping your cheeks and spreading them, like... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. You could have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, now I'm thinking about Did um does she have three boobs? Ronnie? No. I don't think Ronnie has any like <laughs> I think I saw a fan art where she had three boobs. What the fuck? I think that's just the fan art. <laughs> Someone had a weird request. But like it, it makes sense. Like people with forearms usually have extra boobs sometimes. I. What are you watching? Um, I don't. I've seen it somewhere. Somewhere wrong. <laughs> is how old is Ronnie? Like she looks like a preteen girl. So she's Ronnie, thousands of years old. The body she's in is supposed to be a doll. Yeah. So a like doll? yeah, so that's why she looks kind of like young. But like if you do her quest, you actually see her body at the top of the divine tower. And you can kind of like get a good idea for what she looked like. And it was it's kind of like It a, looked like it was burnt to shit or something. Yeah, it was burnt to shit, but like you get like a height, you get like a like what she would dress in kind of a thing. She had like a little tiara on or whatever. Uh, I like her this way a lot better, in my opinion. She just looks real thin, super tiny, and she ha has no boobage. So I'm just like wondering, like, is she younger than I? No, I God, she's no, a God, lolly. No. <laughs> no, no, like the Ronnie... dragon lollies. I'm a five thousand years old. Yeah, no, <laughs> she, she's uh, she's quite old. Not quite old, but like definitely, definitely old. She's of age. Yeah, we'll say that. Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> God, 
I like how in the uh, midst of certain death in Elden Ring, we're still just making sure like the age of <laughs> like the age of consent. Like she's just like like <laughs> everyone's like I will do this quest for you. Um. By the way, I don't want to get into any, like, trouble or anything, so just, like, ahead of time, like, can you just, like, tell me, like, you're eight, you're eight, you're over 18, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're an adult, right? Yes, my lord. Please say something, I've been fapping to you. <laughs> right. Damn, is that, is that it, Honk? Um, what other video games are there? <laughs> Oh, oh um, I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast like a couple episodes ago or, or if it was just like us chilling in Discord, but the girls from Pokemon, um, May, I think it was. Mm, uh, you liked May, May I think. With the bandana, yeah, yeah and the Torchic. Like yeah, right. she's the one that I had a crush on. Right. That's like childhood crush, yeah. I mean... I guess that kind of fits in with the crushes thing, because it's like she's yeah, from video the game. game. Hmm. Um, yeah, like um, when making when I like started a Pokemon game, I chose her as my thing. Like I said, I was a girl because I wanted to play as her because I had a crush on her. You wanted to look at her. I wanted to look at her. Yeah. I don't get a good look see at her. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Well, uh, <laughs> I have a few things that can outshine everything you just said. Uh, first Ooh. off, uh, Kirby. Um, just what? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. He can fucking no. for you, though. <laughs> I don't want to get into it, please. I, I just Kirby was on my desk, and I, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to talk about what Kirby can do. You I brought just... up Kirby. Shut up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, Dawn. Oh, Bowsette. Bowsette. She's not from a game, but god damn, I wish she was. Bowsette would be prime. Um, what about Daisy? Daisy's like a tomboy. I feel like uh, I always did like her. Daisy more than Peach for sure. But then Roselia came out. Rosalina, uh, her, her fucking Roselia. name. Is. Yeah. Uh, she was cool. She was pretty solid. Um. She's like the email girl, though. She's like the, uh, oh yeah, the exactly, shy. exactly, fucking right up my alley. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was the chick from Fossil Fighters that you had to shake your ass in front of to remind her who you were. Uh, hard crush. Uh, like I said, Dawn, Ronnie the Witch. I kind of want to say Melania, but she's, she's, she gives me like. Who's the actor in Kill? Like, what's the what's the name of the actor in Kill Bill? What what is her name? Uma Thurman. What the bride? Is that what you're talking about? The like blonde girl, blonde chick. Where's the jumpsuit? Yeah. Her name is uh, Uma Thurman. In real life, her the movie name is Beatrix Kiddo. Bro, what? <laughs> yeah. Uma you think it was? Thurman? Uma Thurman. I genuinely had no fucking idea that was a person. I heard the song Uma Thurman by Fall Out Boy and just thought it was like some kooky little thing they said. Uma Thurman is a person? Yeah, she's she's the actress. That's her name. There's so. a song with her name. Yeah, yeah, she wants to dance like Uma Thurman and I can't get you out of my head. Yeah, it's pretty good. He is referencing uh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Huh. Huh. Well, she... Huh. Uh, Melania gives me, like, Uma Thurman vibes, I guess. Like, as far as, like, age goes and, like, how badass you can be at that age or whatever. But, like... She ain't, like... <laughs> she's not, like, aging. She's relatively young-looking. No. Nah. I think you're looking for mature. She's a mature-looking woman. She she's definitely a mature looking woman. I, I I guess I wasn't trying to say like old. I was saying like, just not in their twenties. Right. Yeah. I also uh, like characters who are that because they have a lot more experience going on instead of like I'm a twenty one old bounty hunter princess bomb expert. It's like girl, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. 
See, I get that vibe from uh, Melania. I like how fucking cool she is when she seems like she's like the older of the siblings that you fight for some reason. But she's so fucking cool. And I just have a crush on her because she's so fucking cool, honestly. <laughs> uh, obviously, Melina. Obviously, Ronnie. Uh, Dokubi. Dokubi was solid. Dokubi's cool. Who's Dokubi? Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, she's yeah. the geek girl. Yep, she's also the uh, gothic of the, of the bunch, I'd say. Or emo of the bunch. She has, like, the cool, like, silver patch in her hair. Love it. Hmm. Um, fuck. Who? What other video games have I ever played in my life? Uh, Eve Overwatch. from Assassin's Creed. Ooh, Tracer was a fat one for me. I fucking love Tracer. McCree. When McCree came out with that fucking summer skin, I got so self conscious. <laughs> I was like, I need to fucking get tan and work out. Ooh, Ash. <laughs> how, much, how the fuck did I forget that? Ash is like literally the best, in my opinion. Ash and Sombra. I just thought they were really fucking cute. I never liked Widow. Like, yeah, she's got a fucking fatty, but, like, she's she's also blue. I mean, I guess that doesn't say much, because I love Ronnie, but... She just ha probably has a cold pussy. Oh, Isn't there, like, heart? Huh? What? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> <laughs> Like you know how like her uh, her story is that like she her heart rate is slower so her skin turned blue because her she turned cold you know yeah something like that so I kind of put two to two together <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's got an ice pussy ice pussy <laughs> ice pussy <laughs> uh, fuck what's another game that I like used to play religiously. I think there is a girl from Watch Dogs. I think from the first Watch Dogs, that was really cool to me. Oh, uh, the tattoo girl? I think so. I think. I think. I don't know. Um, I'm just like looking around my room right now. Uh, Laura Croft is always huge for me. Ah, uh, she was my first. Um... I guess I don't really have, like, any other, like, video game crushes, like, I think. God damn, why can I not think of this shit? It, there has to be someone from, like, Mortal Kombat. Like, Jade, I really liked from Mortal Kombat. Jade Sonya Blade. Fuck, nah, nah, not Sonya. I was, I was no Sonya simp. What? Nah, brother. Sonya turned out to be that fucking gorilla gripped will snap your dick in half kind of lady. Yeah. She's not like, she doesn't play like the sexy role. She just plays the badass female role. It's, it's, it's the sexy role is like Katana. Or Melina. Melina is like the, the scary sexy. Ooh, what was that one chick? I think she was, she was DLC before, but I think she's actually in the newest one. Um, um Scarlet? Was that her name? Oh yeah, Scarlet. She was fucking cool. I liked her. Uh Scarlet. There was Tanya. Tanya um yeah. Sidel. Uh Ooh, do you remember Aaron Black? I bet you fucked with Aaron Black. Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. Who's that like a sexy Mortal Kombat character? There's probably one that I'm like adore. <laughs> He's like you're like Goro. Oh fuck no, Goro! He fucking scares me. <laughs> um. Damn, I'm really put on the fucking spot. Kano. I would fuck Kano. Oh god. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we're moving the fuck on. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, Kano I'm is not, reasonable. No, it's not reasonable, man. I you could have said Baraka. I could have said fucking Baraka. Why the fuck would you say Baraka? I would not. Why wouldn't you but say there's like, way worse shit to say. Why wouldn't you say like fucking Katara. Johnny Cage or like fucking... I don't, I don't fuck with his chest tattoo, to be honest. Oh, Johnny Cage's? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's true. It's tacky. 
Oh yeah, the the Russian with the laser eye isn't tacky at all. He's Australian. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fake fan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking Shao Kahn or whatever the fuck. I own all the Funko Pops. I know what I'm talking about. I have Whoa. two. I have Scorpion and Katana. Um, I lied. I don't own any Funko Pops. You just outed yourself. <laughs> I'll out myself, and that's a fucking perfect fucking segue into collecting, actually. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Fucking alley-ooped that one. All right. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll take the fucking reins on this, because I'm the most apparently out- No, actually, you know, Kelly's got the weirder, uh, collection in my opinion. Not weirder, but, like, more, uh, refined, I'd say. Like, you, like you, you really narrowed it down to one thing, and you have a lot of oh, it, yeah. which is good. I do. Um, uh, I could- No, is it my turn? No, go for it, go for it, yeah. Okay. I collect bottle caps. That wasn't what even what I was Oh, about. yeah! That wasn't even what I was talking about. What the about. fuck? What were you talking about? What? Sorry about Black Widow. Oh, I do, I do. Okay, so I, do, I collect bottle caps. Okay, I like bottle caps. But I also collect six-inch action figures. And my favorite ones to get are the sexy-ass girls. And I love Black Widow, so I have a shit ton of Funko... Or not Funko Pops. Just like the Marvel Legends of Black Widow. I have a bunch. I got it from pretty much every single movie except her white suit from MCU and her Endgame one. The yeah, Endgame one looks ugly, but the white suit one look, probably looks pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't like how she went blonde in MCU. That was weird to me. It was a weird callback to Yelena, but if we were going to get Yelena anyway, I don't think it would have been a Nah. I thought it was just because she was like trying to be undercover or not a, undercover yeah, like that's, that's they were in hiding. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of yeah. sucks for her to get who have gotten rid of it in my opinion, but it's whatever. Uh that's not even what we're here to talk about though. Um as far as my collection goes, it is ever growing. I want to collect manga, I want to collect Green Arrow comics. Uh, I want to collect all the pops that I actually care about. I'm not like as in <coughs> deep on the pops. It's That's like, right. no worries. Uh, I'm not as in deep on the pop on the uh, pop figures as like obviously a lot of other pop figure collectors. Uh, it's really just like the ones I give a shit about. It's not. It's not like I want to have every single pop ever made, because that is actually insane. Like, where do you put all that? Like, you have to devote like an entire bedroom. To that and even then like even more space than that so to collect every single pop anyway yeah. <laughs> um so there's that i also want to collect uh anime swords and swords in general because that would be Ooh. cool to like hang up um pokemon cards fucking love collecting pokemon cards uh Obviously. Yeah, I just, I'll tell this for the podcast, and I, I think I just told, no, I didn't tell Kelly this yet, I was talking to someone else, uh, but I told Honk, I spent 40 bucks most recently on Pokemon cards, which would have come out to like, like 58 bucks, had I not used like tips or whatever beforehand, oh. so I spent like 40 bucks on Pokemon cards, that is a tin and another little box thing. That is a total of eight packs. Uh, four of them being Shining Fates, which has so many fucking cards in it. Like, there's, it's like guaranteed you're going to get something. Um, eight packs, 40 bucks, down the drain. Didn't even get a single hollow. I was oh, humbled. I was goddamn dude, humbled. Eight packs for 40 bucks? That's... It's because like, it's because of the sets they were. So like with the tin, it was like twenty five bucks with tax. Uh, it was like twenty seven. Um, but that's because there was two brilliant stars, one uh evolving, one fusion, and one uh fucking chilling rain. So the two brilliant stars like brings that up a bit because it's hard to come by. Uh, they're like what four or five bucks now 
Yeah, pack. Pokemon cards have gotten fucking expensive. I Seriously. recently went back to my hometown because they have a Dollar General up there now, and I was told that you can get Pokemon cards for cheap as fuck at, Dar at Dollar General. And it's true because they're like less than retail there. Uh, and they usually had like Darkness Ablaze, which I would fucking spend that much money on Darkness Ablaze. I don't fucking give a shit. I can get Charizard. Um, but uh they they didn't have it when i went in but i went into like circle k just to like get some snacks and i looked behind the counter they have an entire fucking thing of brilliant stars they have an entire rack of individual packs for brilliant stars guess how much it was a pack five bucks Six thirty what yeah there's I, I was like i cannot do that that'd be a detriment to my wallet and i don't even know what the fucking odds of me actually getting something out of these would be six dollar general cheese yeah it's it was really bad so which is also weird that a circle k was carrying it and not the dollar general ran across the street uh but i digress mm -hmm. anyway um, yeah, so 40 bucks down the drain, didn't get shit. I was humbled. I'm not getting Pokemon cards for a while. <laughs> um, what's another fucking thing that I collect? Fuck. Mm. Mm. What about things like you want to collect? Things I want to collect? That's a good question. You just said, like, comics and swords, but... Uh, manga, I haven't started the manga... manga. I haven't started the manga collection yet, so that's just, like, one thing that I really want to start collecting. And it's really so that I can, like, display, like, all the... Ooh, anime figures! There you go. Anime figures would be sick as fuck. Uh, I love all, the, like, the vibrant colors that they have in, like, a lot of them. Especially the ones that are very limited to, like, a hundred made or something like that, you know? I want to have at least it's one of those. Ones. Yeah. So... Uh, maybe stuff from, like, an actual set. Like, uh... Like, if you're collecting Star Wars shit, you actually want the actual lightsaber that they held or whatever. Right. That'd be cool. That is gonna be pricey. Oh, God. Yep. Uh, I was watching Beverly Hills Pawn forever ago, and some dude was pawning the actual Yoda puppet. And like what? And he got like two mil for it, I think. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. Which is Ching. awful because like I'm pretty sure the puppets like deteriorate over time. And so like that puppet's old as shit. <laughs> and like if you look at all the other Yoda puppets that like there's a Yoda puppet that's in the Smithsonian right now, I think. And it's what? Like just deteriorating so bad. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'd, I, you might want to fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure there is one at least in a museum that is just like awful. You gotta put it in like an air lock case or some shit. Yeah. Can't take pictures of it. Because it might like. Yeah, it explode. Just like, turn to dust. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like when light touches it. <laughs> yep. There was also another Avenger. collecting that I would love to start, but is like a very hard one to get into. Uh, sneakers. I love uh, Jays. I think that'd be really cool to start collecting those, but that's probably the most expensive hobby I would have, honestly. You guys are going to get broke real quick. Yeah. But I like Talk it. It's, it's, swords. It's dopamine. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah. Keeps me happy. Yeah. Yeah, Hawk. Hmm. You, you you keep you you go ahead. What what do you okay. want to collect? What do you um, collect? Did you guys this isn't something I want to, but I just like thought of it. Did you guys ever have beanie babies? Oh my Because <laughs> that's like a huge collector's item, right? Okay, no. So yeah. what happened with beanie babies was they were like they were like the Pokemon cards of the back in the day, right? Like they were yeah. worth like a ton of money, and like that's why people like bought them in bulk or like had like every iteration of them, like the Elvis Beanie Babies, the Orange Beanie Babies, whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't know what happened, but the value of it was like crypto. It's like the value of the Beanie Baby suddenly one day just 
fucking uh plummeted plummeted so my yeah. grandma being one of these people actually had so many fucking beanie babies and but... eventually they were just like sent off to goodwill damn yeah so That's... beanie babies aren't worth shit nowadays but it's kind of a funny thing to look at it's like damn wow. what could have been <laughs> like funko pops are probably the same thing oh I always thought about it, but, like, Funko Pops are still huge today. But, I mean, at the same time, there's, like, people who try to sell, like, fucking Jason Momoa Aquaman for, like, 50 bucks, and it's, like, he's worth, like, $2. I... Right. Yeah. He's not, he's not worth jack shit, but people try to upsell, like, crazy just because they're, like, ooh, here's a pop figure. I, I It's rare. I promise me. I promise. Trust me. <laughs> like, no, nah, it's not. Bullshit. Yeah, Beanie Babies. Wow. Everyone universally knows they're worthless now. <laughs> yeah, like my sister used to have a shit ton of them. Like she had like a little chain that hung from I think the ceiling, and it was just full of Beanie Babies, like all the way down to the ground. There's so many different kinds. Damn. Damn, your sister was a Beanie Baby. She just walked into. <laughs> He's just like calling you out. <laughs> calling her out. That's yeah. it. That's funny. But um, one thing I used to love collecting when I was a kid, I was just like so fascinated with rocks and like fossils. Fossils. I just thought they were like so fucking cool. Like any cool-ish looking rock I would find, I would hold on to. And like I used to love breaking them open to like see the quartz inside. That was really cool. And nice. like going to like um there's this one museum, one place I lived, like I loved the fucking gem and fossil area. And I got like a little amethyst geode thing from there. And yeah, I got like a bunch of clam fossils and like coral and shit from the beaches. And I like built up my collection hella. And then like I get older. And then I just have a heavy ass thing of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, actually, yeah. that reminds me. For some reason, your rocks reminded me of. You said heavy. I think that's what it was. I had a really weird Hot Wheels collection. I did too. I just just remember again now. I do too. I think I did too. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't believe, like, thinking back to how many Hot Wheels I had, I can only imagine how many of those would be worth at least like fifty bucks now. Right. I don't even like where the fuck do you start with that? Like um I there's think... like websites you can look up like the good ones and then like um you remember at Target when people would come in for like the day that we get a shipment of Hot Wheels and they would like dig through the boxes before we even put them out? Yeah. That I always found it just so fucking weird. It never made any sense to me. Like, I think that's why I really like Pokemon cards is because, like, oh, it's from this set. It's worth this much. Um, It's pretty hard to get this set, but is the payoff pretty good if I do get the card? Like, I like that. I don't like the, oh, wow, uh, they remade this car from 15 years ago. Looks almost identical. Uh, mm. It's a chase. Fucking blow up your walmarts for it like no i i don't even like it there's just no like organization i don't think like they just like keep releasing shit it feels yeah. like i like but i like i like how with hot wheels you know what you're buying but with pokemon cards it's like you, it is a mystery yeah i i that it's I, a gamble I, I guess you can argue that but like if you're going to like a walmart solely for hot wheels and they just don't have it like, that kind of sucks. At least, like, with Pokemon cards, you can, like, go to a fucking um, a card shop and just buy packs, like, whenever you want, I guess. I don't yeah. know if that's, like, an argument to be made. But I think Hot Wheel collectors are kind of fucking weird, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when you, like, thumbtack an entire wall, just nothing but Hot Wheels, and you just stand back and you're just, like, patting yourself on the back, mm -hmm. seek help. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like I'm. Not, that's just Jeez. like a, that's a weird one to me. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Oh, uh, they're kind of cool. <laughs> There's like a nostalgia to it for people, you know. Uh, nostalgia's not that fucking strong, buddy. 
Well, not for you. Like yeah. with Hot Wheels. But that's why you get Pokemon cards, because partly nostalgia and just, like, they're cool. That is true. I guess when you put it like that, because, like, I, I do love... I loved Pokemon playing it as a kid all the time, and that's why I got uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. So I got both of them. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't need to do that. But I got both of them, and that's why I buy Pokemon cards. It's because not only is there a market for it, but it just it brings back a lot of good memories and i would love to like hang up like all my like my zard collection i'd love to get them graded too uh for a lot of my for a lot of my cards i think that'd be cool graded yeah so you can send in cards uh Uh, to psa and they give it a rating uh out of 10 and that goes off of like how centered the card is if there's any nicks if there's any creases if there's any blah 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 print lines it, it goes down to a lot of factors i've gotten very good at appraising shit honestly <laughs> i i wish i could like actually have a job there that'd be insane but, that would be a pretty cool job yeah um yeah. But, um so yeah i used to collect rocks and then i want to collect film cameras i've got like four right now i think I definitely want to build that collection, but maybe pricey and hard to find. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in like knowing how that works. Like how how do you like do you just display them? Uh yeah, I've got a few on my shelf. Mm-hmm. And there's the ones that I actually use. Um yeah, they're just cool. I don't know. Right. They're just cool. And they're actually, like, you can use them. Like, with Pokemon cards and Hot Wheels, you just display them, but the cameras you can actually use. I, I do like the using aspect. I think that's why I really want, like, the Swords and the Jays collection. Because, like, the Swords, mm-hmm. I literally just, I'm literally holding my sword right now. I just open and I close it. And that is, like, literally dopamine. I love it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just, if I had yep. multiple, I open two at a time. Like, <laughs> yeah, like when something's got, like, a functionality to it. Yeah. Ooh, lightsabers. I want to I wanna get a little, a tiny collection of those. Not, like, a huge one. I don't think I need more than, like, two, honestly. Lightsabers. Cool. Oh, my God. Jeremy's lightsaber? That was oh, really right. worth it. Yeah. Worth what we got it? from Disneyland is just so goddamn expensive. And for what it's, like, what it does for you it's like i'm not really a big star wars geek to buy a fucking what 300 dollars uh, lightsaber it's just fucking crazy yeah. yeah you could have gotten a better deal somewhere else fucking disneyland they had like oh. really good ones at cons i just forget the brand like i see them uh at their stand all the time whenever i've gone to a con and like i've almost like gotten one but instead i always like opt for like the assassin's creed stuff i find like the first con i ever went to i think i literally walked away with my assassin's creed tomahawk uh never been to one yeah we are absolutely going to cons uh when i when i move up i think there's been a couple in portland since i moved here yeah i think comic i think portland is in comic con i don't know if it goes to seattle or not Hmm. Did, I say, did I just say Portland is in Comic-Con or Comic-Con is in Portland? Portland is in Comic-Con. Well, shit. Uh, kill me now. Like, like it's in the lineup. Comic-Con. Like it's in the lineup. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. mom will live in Comic-Con. <laughs> uh, I will say Comic-Con is so fucking overrated. You know what's like pretty much the same thing on a smaller scale WonderCon. you know it's significantly cheaper WonderCon. like that's all i need honestly you get to see some badass cosplay all the same stands you would see at a comic con the only thing that's like missing is like a few stands which would probably just be comic books which like you know are literally everywhere and um 
like the premiere shit like at comic-con that's when like at comic-con san diego at least uh is where they do all the marvel premiere shit and like they set up on the outside they set up a lot of stuff like uh fucking last time i went they had the whole walking dead attraction they had like a whole fenced off area where like you had to like get through this obstacle course with walkers or some shit like that well there was also a Rick and Morty Adult Swim thing outside that I didn't end up going Ooh. to. Uh, fuck, I know there was an assa- there was an Assassin's Creed thing. I think it was the same year uh, Unity came out. I didn't go to that because that wasn't the year I went to Comic Con. But like, there was like a parkour trial, and you would like win like a uh, deluxe copy of the game or some shit like that. I think. Oh. Like with cool. like the statues and shit. I thought that would be. I thought that was sick as fuck. Gamers punching the air. They should have fucking worked out <laughs> to get the full copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, I should have. Only I touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> They're like lives are waiting up to this moment. They fucking failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Comic Con's not super worth it. I cause like. When I was into Arrow, they would have panels at WonderCon. Like, it wasn't even just Comic-Con. They'd have panels. Although, I'm glad I did go the year I went. Because I went that same year that Stefan Amell gave a cancer victim little girl that was dressed up in an Arrow costume. His actual Arrow necklace. Like, it was a necklace someone had made for him. And he said, bring it back to me next year. Like, to make sure that she's alive. Did he ever get it back? I think he did, but he just let her keep it. Uh. Yeah. Very, very, very fucking sweet guy. I'm so very... He's cool. Yeah, he was an actual superhero. The dude's a fucking unit. I remember he went on uh, American Ninja Warrior. That was nuts. Oh, yeah. He raised, like, so much money. And I remember uh, he did the salmon ladder, like, effortlessly because he does it on the show. He does it on the show, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Fucking, where did we even stem from that? Jesus Christ. Uh, Collections. Oh, I also would love to collect playing cards. I don't know why. Like... I've just been, like, fixated on the idea for a little bit now. Playing cards, like, you know, the, like, poker oh, cards. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, I, they're, they'd be so cool to collect because they're, like, cheap. And there are some really cool art styles for different sets. Like, right. just looking on Amazon, like, there's a whole, like, um, there's, like, Star Wars themed ones. There's Mando ones. There's Harry Potter ones for each different house. Um, there's just like strip, just cool ones. Um, like I have a blue dragon one right now. It's like, I don't know. Just the art's really cool on a lot of different ones. And I think it'd be a cool, like cheap little collection to start. And then like you could buy them in doubles and then like use one to keep sealed. And then one you actually play with. I like your ideas, but, like, at the same time, in my head, I'm like, how would you display this? Like, a collection, I feel like, is, like, a means to be seen. Like, with playing cards, I feel like you're just going to have, like, a whole drawer of these things. It's going to be, like, oh, You could, like, stack them on a shelf, you know, like... Or put them like all laid out on, like, a poster and just do, like, each row's, like... Oh, be, like, the Potter. ace for each set, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah, ace... Uh, so like with the whole graded pokemon card thing i was telling you guys about people get like frames and like uh like a foam cutout uh that would be able to fit like the graded card perfectly so i mean mm-hmm. if you were able to do like a some kind of frame and like a cool background uh with all just all the aces are in the different sets that'd be cool yeah yeah i'm i'm digging that idea because it's like cheap and easy like there's like 10 15 different ones that i already want on amazon and then like i know there's there's like ones of value out there i just don't know how to find them yep. yeah but a expensive collection that i would like to have the most expensive you can think of 
is well, not most, but guns. Oh yeah, guns would be guns so would be dope so, to collect. Oh, I would love to have a fucking big ass shelf full of like right. cool ass guns from movies, mm-hmm. games. Oh, yeah, Ooh, like uh, the gun store that I go to, they have a bunch of like they have a few like vintage like type of guns on display. I don't think you can buy them, but they had some really dope ones. Like there was a tank killer that they had. Um. I think they had a Tommy gun. Um, they had old AKs, uh, Uzis. Yeah. I would just opt for like the nerdy shit though. <laughs> like, uh, my collection would look more like a fucking Mando gun, the portal gun, which is something I've always uh, fucking wanted. The portal <laughs> gun is fucking sick. I can imagine you go to a gun store, like, do you have the gun blade? <laughs> the gun blade. Pen gun. Damn, Sam is his gun. Sam is his gun. <laughs> uh, uh, Mega Man. Jesus, I'd had to think about that for some reason. This little fucking <laughs> arm blaster. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I know I keep, like, no? butting in there, but it's like, I like guns, but I like nerdy yeah. shit so much more for some reason. The you like gun guns, so cool. too. A car collection would be nice. Uh, yeah, I was about I've to say always, cars. I've always wanted the DeLorean from Back to the Future at the very Oh my least. god. Um, was a car at the time, like, really dumb, or no one really bought it? It is still a very dumb concept. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's like if you coated your Lamborghini in the most expensive metal you possibly could. And then decided to give it horrible gas ma- way worse gas mileage than it already had, I think. <laughs> like yeah. it's it's heavy for no reason, it's cl- it's tight for no reason, and it was but it was iconic, which is why it's the uh yep. which is why it's DeLorean. The DeLorean, yeah. Uh I would want to get car guys. Like there's a lot of people at my work that's like, Whoa, do you like this car? Well, we got a metal car. It's like I don't get it. Bro, there's like, no, like so cars? I sort of get the scene. Like, I love the JDM scene, but I also hate the guys who are just like, "Oh, what you got under the hood?" I'm like, "Oh, fucking engine." I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> he's just like, "There's like a B12, A12, fucking C20." Like, bro, I don't. F- you think exactly. I know this shit? I don't even know how many fucking cylinders this bitch is on. <laughs> like. Oh, <God. laughs> Like, I don't fucking know any of it, but I would love to. I would I would love to know. I just don't want to sound like a douche, because, like, a lot of those guys sound like just actual dickheads. Like, everyone's supposed to know this shit. Well, not to their own friends. Because they, they do know it. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, like, yeah. they're just talking about cars, and it's like, I don't know shit about you, like, speaking Spanish to me. <laughs> I would have loved uh, that back to the the DeLorean. Uh, I always, I always said the mystery machine. Oh, I always fuck wanted yeah. that mystery oh, machine. Go camping in the mystery machine. I would fuck love that. yeah. Yep. I really want a car from Fast and Furious, like Hans Super or something. I think that's just so corny now. I feel like everyone just wants. No. To know. Well, because it's a Supra. Like everyone wants a fucking Supra. Um, Brian, yeah, Brian's GTR or his Subi. GTR would be sick as fuck. I want like a car you can like sleep in just in case, like a van or something. True. Yeah. You know, like how the Mandalorian has like or had his fucking uh, (laughs) had his. It was basically like an apartment. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Like it's that have to be like a big van to have that much room i mean the mystery or machine like a, probably fits that mark yeah or like a school bus you remodel to fucking Heck yeah pimp it out oh, that's that. the goal i'm trying to think of if there's like a famous school bus that's not just from like the magic Madison. school bus no, not the, i know i was trying to say not that one because that's like way oh. too cartoony to fucking replicate <laughs> uh I don't know if there's like another like famous. You're famous... saying shrinking down to blood molecules is too cartoony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, 
There's the school bus from Sky High. Oh, the one that flies. Driven by Ron, the bus driver. I forgot how that even like actually flew. Honestly, what did it like turn? Oh, have you guys ever seen? Drives off a cliff. You guys ever seen Taxi? Or Taxi? Uh, I don't think it was Taxi Driver. I think it was just Taxi. It was some black chick (laughs) and like some dude who was like a detective and he can't drive. So he had to like take her taxi, but it turns out like she wants to be a racer, so she pushes a button and that shit turns into like a supra. Like it actually transforms and it's so fucking cool. That movie, I used to watch that shit all the time. It was not for kids, and I didn't realize that until I watched it like the last time. It was Queen Latifah and the guy from SNL. Yep. Uh it's on Jimmy Kimmel. Let me look it up. I don't know why it might have been Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> uh, oh. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. I don't know yeah. what year is it talking about. Yeah, just, just after the podcast, look up uh, Taxi. Hey, actually. Yeah. It was a pretty good movie. I mean, it was very 2000-esque, though. That shit had, like, flames and, like, the excessive amount of, like, exhaust. It, it was it was really fun. Um, But, yeah. Uh, I I feel like those would be, like, pretty solid choices. Maybe, like, like an apocalypse-style uh, bus. Like, that's the only thing I can think of that would be, like... Yeah. Real, like, a really nerdy fucking bus. Um, is um the Volkswagen bus, you know? But from what? Um, or just to have? Just in general, it's like a hippie van. Yeah, yeah. hippie van. Yeah, I never got into that. The Gabriel Iglesias fucking collects those things. Oh really? Yeah, he, it was his first car, so when he got, like, famous, he just bought, like, a fuck ton. Like, he has a whole warehouse full of those fucking things. No way. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so cool. It's, it's, it's cool, but it's also really fucking sad, because, like, now they're just collecting dust somewhere else. Like, yeah. they got, like, fully restored when he initially bought them, and now they're just sitting there, and, it, like, he has a different color of each one. <laughs> Well, maybe he takes turns driving them. Yeah, some of them haven't been haven't taken their turn in a hot minute. The batteries yeah. are probably dead. Yeah. You have to keep starting them. Yep. Yeah. It's just a big ass money pit. I think so. They're cool though. I think collecting cars is like your max amount is like six. Do not collect more than six, because like at That's that reasonable. point you're not driving all of them regularly enough yeah so um i would oh sorry continue no you can go i was gonna say i want to get to the other topics but i don't think we're gonna have the time um right yeah what time are we oh yeah yeah so we're probably 58 yeah oh okay Yeah, so I think we're going to call it right there. Um, Firstly, though, Ronnie's got no areolas. Guarantee it. I don't even think she has nipples. (laughs) I don't think she has breasts. Oh, she has tits. Trust me. Uh, Wow. (laughs) If you look hard enough... She's literally my little gif in my uh, CPU cooler. She just keeps on smiling at me. (laughs) And, like, saying something, but I forgot what it is. Um, I think she has super cute teeny tiny ones, and <laughs> the idea of them being blue, I'm into. I'm oddly into that as well. Right? <laughs> oh, I just God. thought about it. I'm like, hmm, there might be some here. Like, are they like a deep blue or lighter blue though? I uh, probably light blue deeper. blue, but, but like dark blue nipple. Yeah, like, you know, it's always darker than your skin tone. True, true. 
I just like looked yeah. at my right now, like lifted up my little man tit and like at my fucking neck. <laughs> Um, uh, who is the man? Uh, Jack Black. Jack Black not only has a fat cock, he's got like he has no foreskin. Guarantee it. Yeah, I feel like he's got like a, a thick ass chode, but like yeah. not a super short and chubby chode, like a long and chubby chode. So just a thick dick. He's he's got a fat cock there. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know about. That. Jack Black and be packing. Dude, he's got like uh I think on his Instagram or his TikTok, he's got like hella stuff of him in a speedo. I yeah, that I was gonna like see it, like look back and see how big his dick was. I I, I think he's kind of I feel like he's gotta be because he's got a pretty hot wife, right? He has a wife? Yeah, he has a wife. I mean yeah. if he could just like retire in general from doing shit, I don't think he's like done anything since time for Panda Three. Um, he's still doing something right now. Oh, really? I think it's, I think it's Kung Fu Panda related. What? They don't need more Kung Fu Panda. Don't ruin it. They ended pretty well, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jablitsky. I don't know how long that lasted or if it's still going. If you guys know what that is. Nope. Yeah, it's his gaming channel. Yep. Oh. I don't know if it's still going or not. I have to check on that. I know he played like a lot of retros, but he might be playing Elden Ring, honestly. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, it'd be really funny. I bet he'd be Dung Eater uh, armor set if he... Or, or uh, Lionel. The, un- yeah. the Black Onion one. <laughs> um, What the fuck Definitely. was I even about to say? Oh, yeah, he was in that one video game. He was the main voice actor for that one video game uh fucking uh, what was it called it was like the rock and roll game yeah fucking god damn it i forgot what it was but it seems like it was a like legitimately good game age of something he was gonna be in dead island 2 but they canceled that game Bruh, it yeah I'm so brutal pissed. legends brutal That's legends there you yeah. go mm. yeah Good game. I never played it, but it, it looked pretty fun when I like keep seeing clips about it. Yeah. Um. Who chose? Okay. So yeah, yeah. So for going in the circle, we did Kelly before me. We did I think Alyssa before Kelly, or is that you before Kelly Hunk? Um. Did you choose last week's? Or this one? I chose this one, yes. So the next one I think is supposed to... Yeah, the next one's supposed to be Alyssa's, so I guess we'll just send it off to Honk. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. Um, You're before... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. Uh, Michael J. Sarah. Who the fuck is that? Um, uh, From Superbad, he's the, like, softer-spoken, nerdy, shy guy, you know? Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, him and... Let's see who... Alright, we'll just keep it with the same theme, Ramona Flowers. Alright. Oh, uh... What's her name? Something Watson. Uh... Well, I don't remember her real name. But we'll say Ramona Flowers. Down. Ramona Flowers is a fucking staple in my type community. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Winstead. And Michael Sarah. Wow. Ariola. That sounds like a... Circumcised. You're gonna get the answers next time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just looking at Kelly's fucking skydiving face. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. 
All right. Well, thank you guys for listening to this episode of the Camping Buddies. Again, unfortunately, Alyssa couldn't be here this time, but that's fine. We don't need her. Anyway, um, <laughs> make sure you guys share with your friends. Check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Uh, tell your friends about it, like I just said. And if you want to start your own podcast, uh, go through Anchor. They're an amazing hosting site, and I don't get paid to say that yet, but I might eventually if you keep on fucking sharing us around. Um, see ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye.